Here you go, guys. We are with Mr. Randy from NECA Toys. So, tell us what's coming for NECA. We're really excited. Hey, you're in PowerCon with some Masters of the Universe stuff, dude. Yeah, yeah. Big reveal for PowerCon uh, is our Masters of the Universe collector masks, um, full over the head latex masks. Um, we debuted them here on Friday. Uh, they start coming out this fall. Beastman and Skeletor are the first two. They'll be out in October. Um, we have seven on display here. Trapjaw, Webstore, Merman, Stinkor. More are in the works. Um, very fair value priced at uh, about $50 to $60 each. Um, they're awesome. Super detailed. Look exactly like the original Mattel They toys. look amazing. They look really, really amazing. People are really excited about it. Uh, especially, you know, Masters fans. I mean, you can create your own characters. You can do your custom and stuff. And, yep. and there you go. You have your mask right there. Totally, yeah. And, and if you're not wearing them, throw it on a mannequin head or, uh, you know, display them with your toys. It's a really cool display option also. Um, so we're talking about Masters right now. And we saw that you have some Defenders of the Earth from the next wave that is coming there. Yep. Uh, they look really, really good. Really, Thank really good. You. Yeah, that's a line we've been working on for a couple years. Um, 35th anniversary of Defenders was in 2020, and that's when we started. Um, and we're finishing out uh, with Mandrake the Magician, uh, Lothar, and uh, Gar Garrix, which is a late addition to the line. Um, but the line did well enough, we were able to go back in and, and add new, uh, you know, another figure and new tooling and doing Garrix, which is real cool. Um, and I, I, I was super excited. I, I have the Phantom, I have the two versions, right? Uh, and the new one, man, is a total, I love the new one. I'm yeah, more like a classics. classic guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm more like a classic guy. Also, uh, I noticed like articulation in that figure is impressive. The Dang. second wave yep. like that you did, oh my God, it's like something impressive. Like everything about the figure is like top notch. We love that. And also, do you have any like updates on Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, so at Comic-Con we showed uh, the next two ultimate figures. So Grimsword and uh, War Duke are the first two. Yes, they and, look amazing. Uh, thank you. Yeah, they're, they're getting close. They will be shipping in September. Uh, we just finished all the packaging for those guys. And then at San Diego Comic-Con two weeks ago, we revealed uh, Strongheart the Knight and uh, Zarek. They look amazing. I, I never thought I would like so much that little dwarf dude <laughs> is, is, is to me out of all the characters that's the one i'm more excited about oh, very cool uh, i was like okay war Duke looks amazing but yep. this one it like it was it was impressive wow oh, thank you yeah the guy who got to sculpt it uh tom gwen is a huge huge fan of that character uh he has like a fetish for that design okay and he has uh over 30 of the ljn original um uh, Zarek figure so um, when he was sculpting it he had them all set up on like a tiered riser in front of him and he was just geeking out like getting to do this new modern update to that figure so it was very cool uh, to let him have that project and we all had the LJM stuff when we were kids you know like the Battlematic action exactly. and everything so it's really fun to update it such classic great characters um, the fantasy art is just amazing and inspires us and we want to make them uh, you know super detailed we have fire that attaches to the sword they have interchangeable hands and uh they're just really cool it's fun because we don't prior to this we don't get to do a lot of fantasy Correct. a lot of horror a little bit of superhero a lot of sci-fi but to get to work playing that fantasy world the stuff that's you know frazetta like and boris oh listen we, I'm, I'm super like fan of frazetta you know like his yep. art and Rudy Obrero's oh, art and stuff amazing. like that. He's right here in PowerCon yep. also. Um, yep. But uh, my question as a fan uh, is like, are we getting more from NECA, like fantasy stuff, barbarian stuff, like, you know, like Conan stuff from Tresera, cool. art like that. Yeah. I mean, you guys have one of the most detailed action figures in the industry. Like that's like pretty much like what people know you guys because right. all the detail on your action figures, they look amazing they look impressive the pain work articulation everything and i mean me as a fan i would love to see more of that stuff more of yeah. like dungeons and dragons stuff 
hey, who knows, of Reseda Conan, you know, like, right. hey, masters of the universe in uh, your line, uh, dude. That I, would be amazing. Oh. The swords and sorcery and fantasy stuff is cool. Uh, you know, right now it's just D and D, but and of course the Master of the Universe masks. But we're playing in those universes a little bit, and we're loving it. So hopefully it will lead to more. Perfect. Thank you so much, Randy. You are an awesome guy. Uh, you guys, the whole team, oh, really, really humble guys and very like you know like reachable. Thank you for everything. And hey, we're crossing our fingers. Yes. Okay? Thank For you sure. so much, man. Thanks. You got Bye. it.